goaltenders. Well, Kevin Durant playing in the second half of a back-to-back tonight for the first time since his Achilles injury. 26 points, 6 assists, and another win. Let's hear from KD. Hey, Kevin, uh, how big was tonight for me? chemistry standpoint with all that happened today shorthanded you know against this Knicks team on the second half of back to back from a chemistry standpoint how big was this one for the team there's a lot more people in here today um it was a it's a good win especially we talked about it last night we want to finish the second half for the back to back and especially with a team that's right across the bridge from us and we know what that rivalry is like and we know how the intensity that this team plays with uh, and at home, so we we wanted to, we really wanted this game tonight, and everybody played like it, and you know from top to bottom, um, you know it was a great effort. Given the news today, your reaction to you know losing teammates and and Karis and Jarrett and Torian, but also welcoming in you know a teammate in James Harden. Uh, I heard that's not even finalized yet, so I'll talk about it another time. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin, was this any kind of uh, barometer for you? I know playing back-to-back was something you wanted to get to the point where you could do. Um, 36 minutes, I think, the other night, 30-some-odd tonight after having to come back in late. Was that, a, was that a big step for you? Yeah, most definitely. I wanted to see how, I, um, how my body felt this morning, how I felt after the game last night. And, you know, I was, just, I was just trying to monitor everything leading up into the game and obviously throughout the game, and I felt good. So hopefully uh, – I know I keep building on it, and you know, as the season goes along, um, I continue to get keep, uh, get keep getting stronger and more, and get used to the game again, the schedule, the travel, everything. So this was a good step. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, you've been at such a tremendous level the the whole season, but the rest of the team is has been kind of up and down. Without getting into the details of the events of today, do you think? this team is approaching a, a point where even though there's a lot of hard work ahead, that you'll be able to focus and, and know what to expect coming, uh, in the future and be able to work through some of these issues that you've had as a team. Well, yeah, I think everybody has, uh, throughout the league, is trying to work out the kinks and figure out their lineups and rotations and stuff. And there's no, we're no different. And I think moving forward, I mean, we will always uh, make adjustments and, and, you know, try to get better every single day. That's always been the goal. And try not to worry too much about the future. Just focus on what's in front of us today. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Kevin, I, I know you don't want to get into things until they are official, but looking past, looking into the past, what was it like to play with James? What do you remember about him as a teammate? Because you have played together. It was fun. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Kevin, what do you think of Reggie Perry's game? He got an extended run with you guys. I think he, he started at four for four. Yeah, I love what Reggie brought today. Um, you got a dog over there, Julius Randle, who we just we told him to just guard up. You're not going to send too much help, and I think he did a solid job of just putting the body in front of him and also rebounding the ball and finishing around the rim. He hit a three tonight, too. So, you know, Reggie... Um, you know, plays like a seasoned vet, it almost it feels like. Um, but he's still learning every single day. Um, but he has that toughness that's going to allow him to go out there and make good plays when he's on the floor. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, given the history between the Nets and the Knicks, does, does this win have any different feeling uh, in terms of just the rivalry standpoint? And since there's no fans, did that kind of just take away from the experience of what it's like to play at the Garden? Most definitely. I mean, having no fans in these arenas are taking away the whole NBA experience for sure. But uh, the Mecca of basketball, uh, it, it, you know, the Garden, and for them not, not to have fans, and especially with this rivalry and how much tension between both teams, uh, you know, amongst both teams' fan bases, you know, definitely missed the fans out there tonight. And I'm sure they would have gave them an extra push as they would try to get back into the game. But, you know, down the line, I know these battles are going to be tough no matter what each team's record is. It's just the fact that, um, you know, it's about New York City right now. You know, Brooklyn Nets and the New York Knicks is always going to be a good draw. So uh, it's a good step for us. And, you know, we know this team, the Knicks are going to come back even better next game. Bruce Beck with NBC Sports. Kevin, you've had a laser focus since game one. Is it about being healthy? Is it about being a professional? Is it about 
just winning? How, how would you describe that? Oh, just trying to be the best I can in each possession and each rep. Um, you know, I've been always trying to take that approach as a pro and, uh, you know, and then you got guys around you who had a, who have that same approach and love for the game. It's just, you know, it's making me better. And uh, hopefully I'm rubbing off of my teammates well. Thanks so much, Kevin. We appreciate it.